Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and today I'm going to share with you my latest album, which is Let's Get Artsy from Graphic 45. I'm loving this paper. Look at this. Oh, I love it. Um, of course, everybody that's a crafter is an artist, right? So um, I think that kind of sings to my heart. So I'm really pleased with the way the cover turned out. Um, I did something a little bit different. I actually used eight by eights here and I made my album cover uh, eight by 10 instead of eight and a half by 10 and a half. And there's this issue where there's a slight overhang of the page. So if that's going to bother you, you need to go follow the directions uh, for the, the normal one that I do, which is eight and a half by 10 and a half, which gives you that slight overhang so that your pages are all protected. If I had it to do over again, that's what I'd do, but I'm only bringing that to your attention because you can kind of see it here just in case. So in the uh, playlist, I will add the eight and a half by 10 and a half um, base album built for this. Everything else would be just as it exists. Um, all the pages are 8 by 10. It's just the cover that's affected. So um, here I featured cut aparts. These are the frame uh, die cuts. They do uh, frames and tags now, which I really like. Um, this is one of the tags. This was a die cut and it actually had her face underneath it, but I, I cut around it and just so I could pop that piece off. This is also from the die cut package. And so is this. And then this is cut apart from the collections. And then I just put the yellow in the frames since they were empty and this pattern was coming through. It was too much of a clash with um, this feature. Uh, so I just went ahead and put yellow in the background. And I think that pulls in the dream just beautifully. I didn't do anything on the spine, although I've got tons of stuff left over uh, to add to it if I want. I added the paintbrush and the paint palette or is that a palette? it is uh, to the back and also I used a sticker here I had trouble getting these two pieces lined up perfectly so the color block didn't look as nice as I wanted it to so I used a sticker there to mask it I did the same thing here with the sticker um, the the page was slightly askew or the book is one of the two and so to tr to make it appear as though it's got a very equal color block I used the sticker to straighten it out which is a, a good technique okay oh and then these are fussy cut from some of the die cuts it's actually a bigger piece but I made it smaller so I could layer it this is from the 8x8 collection so I used um, this as a feature on on the outside I was actually going to use this for the cover of the album initially here and then changed my mind I uh, didn't feel like these images were bold enough so um, I didn't want it to go to waste so I went ahead and mounted it here on the inside cover okay over here we've got a closure strap and then we've got two cards and then we've got two empty frames now I show you how to make these frames in the video these can be frames or mats depends on if you want to go to the trouble to make the frames I show you how to do that if you don't have a die cut um, if you don't want to do that, you just want to use a mat. This would be a mat, four by six mat, and then th you would want to make this a four by um, a four by eight card, uh, so that you could put something inside of it. And right now, I've got a card inside of it plus um, a cut apart. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Page two. We've got this. Actually, this is supposed to be like this. This small flap, which is holding everything in place. And then we've got these photo mat spaces, more room for photos. Another um, small uh, flap where you could put three by threes. This opens up. And then this is kind of the definition. There's the mat and then there's the card. So that's what this would look like on this page if you didn't do frames. So you've got that option, and the other option is to make it like this. And visually, they don't look very different. Um, it's just really a, a preference. Uh, typically, if you mount a photo here, though, it, it's permanent. And if it's a, a frame, you can switch out your photos if you choose. Okay, page three. Got a nice photo mat here. Room for a photo here. 
This is a nice five by seven, uh, plenty of space for a large photo. And then we've got a card here that opens up. Well, actually this could close either way, but I like it on top personally. Okay, page three. Okay, nice large, this is a, a four by six and this is a five by seven photo mat. Nice large photo mat. And then inside, you've got these two photo mats. Okay, so I think that turned out lovely. You could put a photo here, and this is the closure side, right? A photo here, here, these two. Nice, simple, but beautiful page. Okay, again, we're gonna go with a the card theme here. We've got a, what I call a flap extender. So you've got this beautiful, beautiful triple mat uh, for a photo, photo space inside. Okay. Page six and seven, um, I really liked all the cut aparts and I didn't know exactly how I wanted to use them. And this just kind of came to me when I got to this page is I just decided to do like a museum layout where we have just art, you know, arranged. And so each one of these is a card. So there is photo and journaling space in each of these. So in the instructions, I just tell you that you're going to select whichever pieces you like, and then you're going to turn it into a card, and then you're going to want to arrange it. Now I did all my arrangements um, uh, very right angled, but they could be, it could be any way you want it, but I wanted to mount it kind of like you would see in a museum. Okay, so on this side, uh, the bases are all the same color, and on this side, uh, the bases match the opposite page. Okay, this is um, a die cut, and I put a couple of little gems there. You could tie a bow, some other options for you. Okay, and then page eight is a twist pop. I just love this little girl, this image. I don't even know who the painting's by, but I really adore it. And this twist pops, and you've got room for photos here and here. And you could even have them slightly hanging over, as well as a small photo on the closure itself, on the inside part of the closure. Okay. And then over here I did just um, another collage. So these I had already mounted um, because they were some of the options I was looking at for the cover as well. And so rather than let them go to waste, I put them here. You may notice this is something unusual for me. One, um, my flaps are not attached to the outside edge of the page. And the other thing that's different is there's no pockets in here. So it's very easy that you could add pockets anywhere you wanted, but I didn't do any pockets. And I can tell you, I used all my 12 by 12 design, all my 12 by 12 patterns and wished I had a little more patterns. And um, I used a lot of my 8 by 8s Let's see, I have four. I have eight 8 by 8s left. And one of them's the cut apart. Actually, two of them are cut apart. So you'll have enough to make lots of cards or at least a handful of cards. So that's it, um, or even fill pop, create and fill pockets if you want to. That's it for Let's Get Artsy. I hope you guys enjoyed this album. Um, I kind of mentioned in my videos during the build process that um, I uh, will really be sort of shifting gears um, and doing a lot less of uh, these scrapbooks for Scrap and Create. Um, Julie will continue to forge ahead with the shop and she's pulling new designers in as we speak. So Scrap and Create, the YouTube channel isn't going anywhere, but I will be contributing, uh, or probably won't be contributing much this year. So I need to give my hands some rest. Um, the uh, arthritis is, is getting pretty bad. So I'm worried about things like, oh, I don't know, buttoning my clothes. So you may see less of me and that's why. So um, I really appreciate all the time you guys have shared with us over here at Scrap and Create. It, it means so much to us and all the comments and um, just the participation on the YouTube channel and your patronage over on um, 
our website. This is very, very much appreciated. Uh, thanks again for the last almost five years. Uh, I've, I've enjoyed it very, very much. So that's it for me. I'll be signing off this year and I'll be around, but not much. Um, look for me under Daphne Huckabee. I may have another channel at some point. Um, it, and it may not be paper craft, maybe something else. So, um, and when I decide, I'll let Julie know and she can go ahead and pass that information on to you guys. Okay. Thanks a lot. Um, you guys have a great holiday and a happy new year. Bye-bye.